Amid a firestorm of criticism, U.S. President Donald Trump took to Twitter Friday to deny using a vulgar term to describe El Salvador, Haiti, and African nations on day, uh, one day after he was quoted as calling them S-hole countries during a White House meeting on immigration. In the Twitter post, the president says the language used by me at the DACA meeting was tough, but this was not the language used. In another Twitter post, the president wrote that he never said anything derogatory about Haitians other than Haiti is obviously a very troubled and poor country. Meanwhile, reaction is continuing to come in to Trump's apparent crude reference. A member of the president's own Republican Party is condemning his language. It really takes your breath away. You just, it is incomprehensible that these words came out of the mouth of the President of the United States of America, a country uh, that was founded on, uh, on uh, being free from discrimination and, and treating people fairly and, and having people come here, the land of the free. And, and yet the President says, we don't want anyone from Haiti. We don't want anyone from all countries. I feel bad even using the phrase, but these are the president's words. Former Haiti Pre uh, Prime Minister Loha Lamotte tweeted, Shame on Trump. The world is witnessing a new law today with his vulgar remark. President Trump reportedly made the remark as Senator Dick Durbin, a Democrat from Illinois, was explaining the outlines of an agreement reached by six bipartisan senators that would protect nearly 800,000 young immigrants from deportation as well as bolster border security. Well, international reactions were swift across Africa following the alleged Trump comments. In South Africa, the African National Congress Deputy Secretary General Jesse Duarte said comments by U.S. President Donald Trump are extremely offensive to South Africa. Ours is not a country, neither is Haiti or any other country in distress. And it is extremely offensive for President Trump to make statements about other countries that are really not uh, complementary of the U.S.'s position or policy positions on those countries. And uh, it, it, it's unfortunate that he makes those statements. Um, obviously, we're in no position to stop any president from saying anything they wish to say. But uh, all we can say is that um, developing countries do have difficulties. Well, on the streets of major cities across the continent, many express their anger at what they see as indignifying and a mischaracterization of Africa and its people. Uh, I'm not surprised because, I mean, Donald Trump, we've always known that he's a racist. But when he does things like this, people need to realize that he's just trying to distract from all the stuff that's happening to him. Oh, wow. Well, I think he's the in this scenario. And I think he should probably just stop saying these childish things. Well, what I feel about what Donald Trump has said right now with the statement that he's issued, I feel as if um, this guy doesn't have like self-respect for black people as such. Yes, it had me a bit, because we, we, we don't, we, we not, we people, we just like him. It's like Donald Trump is, is, is breathing flavored oxygen. We are, we, we are the same people. We're not different. It's just the color and everything. As an African, I'm disgusted. I don't even know what to say. I am honestly so shocked. Countries like, has he ever been to this country to call it a country? Seriously, has he seen the achievements that Africans have done in his country? We are coming up at our own level, and for him to say that we're a country is an abuse to all of us. And I think that he really needs to detract those ill statements that he said. Well, Botswana's foreign ministry summoned the U.S. ambassador in protest and called the comments highly irresponsible, reprehensible, and racist. It said in a statement that it had asked the U.S. government through its ambassador to clarify if the derogatory remark also applied to Botswana.